Ah, microwaves, those special devices we all have in our kitchens for agitating the water molecules in food or however, and making them go all hot and that. Also, you can put foil crisp packets inside, and they go bzzz with lightning, and then get really small. And probably it blows your microwave up and kills you as well, but other than that, it's fantastic. So yes, over the years I have been sent various interesting microwavable foods, and we shall be looking at some of them today. Microwave food being, well, quick, easy, and not usually so disgusting that you vomit it straight up again. At least, not immediately. Let's start with... Lowry's Bacon Curls, which sounds like some sort of description of a specific type of excrement if, you know, you're having to describe it to a doctor. But no! Microwave pork rinds. Chicarones. Thank you for that. Hot and crispy. Ah, at last. Together at last. So, um, yeah, pork rinds, they're not quite like pork scratchings. They're more sort of um, fluffy and a little bit less dense. They don't tend to have the fat and the hair sticking out, which, as we all know, is an important part of a real pork scratching. So yes, this is more of a sort of American thing. Less than one gram total carb per serving. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm sure the massive amounts of salt will make up for it. Original. I think we're hot and spicy here somewhere, but we'll go for original and see how we run. So yeah, this is basically like the uh, popcorn, which is one of the more effective things you can do in a microwave, except it's pork rinds. I, I didn't even know these were really served hot, so that does surprise me. No, they're actually... Oh my god, they're in date! Whatever next. So, this is presumably in a bag, remarkably similar to, yes, microwave popcorn. So, shake, bag, five or six, timed microwave, one or two minutes, microwave times may vary. Do not leave unattended, or the world will be doomed. Carefully open, bag is hot. I wonder if they mean this bag. I reckon they do. Stop microwave when bag stops expanding. Right, I reckon I can deal with this. To the microwave! So then, these took about exactly one minute for the bag to stop expanding, and we are left with hot pork rind. Mm -mm. This one's got black dots for good luck. Right, I'm going to attempt to eat this one using my mouth and teeth. Um. Hmm, it's all right. Tastes like a very fluffy and light pork scratching. Not much more I can say to that, really. Not unpleasant. Slight pork flavouring. Don't really think you need them hot, but uh, yeah. If you want that, that's a thing, I suppose. I can think of worse things to cook in a microwave. Like your pets. Don't ever do that. That would be very, very unnecessary and unpleasant. So, what else have we got then? Well, let's keep up the meat theme with some Ready Crisp. Fully cooked to... Oh. <clears throat> I was going to read that as fully cooked to cut, but no, uh, too qui, as in French for fully cooked. Bacon, product of USA. So that's why it's called Maple Leaf and has a big picture of a Canadian symbol. Marvellous. Proudly Canadian Company, product of USA. What's going on here? Anyway, this is apparently from Dollarama, where it cost two of mighty dollars. Add to any meal in five seconds. Presumably you have to cook it first. Real bacon, 100%. 7 grams of protein. Look how amazing that looks. I'll bet it doesn't look anything like that once you've done it in a bloody microwave. I didn't really know you could do bacon in a microwave. I think... Actually, it rings a bell. Didn't they sell, like, um, plastic racks you could do micro... Mm, you yeah, I'm not entirely convinced by that. Oh, English muffin breakfast sandwich, or make your own McMuffin, as we call it in the trade. Ingredients, pork, water, salt, and some chemicals. Lovely. Heating instructions. Remove back and slices from packaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Microwave. Place desired amount of slices of the microwave safe plate. Yeah, yeah. Lined with paper towel. Or we have to soak up the old excess grease. Place in microwave and heat on high. One slice, five to ten seconds. Oh, that should be nice and quick then. Or you could fry it in a pan. But let's face it, if you were actually cooking it properly, you'd probably have bought some normal bacon. So, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's. So it's already cooked and you've just got to reheat it. I've got to say, it's looking a bit um, like the devil's fingers. Um, best before January 2016. Ah, so it's a couple of months out of date. I reckon I can live with that. Right, I'm going to cook one slice of this and then return immediately. And let's have a bit of a jump cut while that happens. 
Well then, I don't really know American bacon etiquette, but this would be a pretty shit cut by British standards. Um, yeah, a fair bit of grease on the old paper towel, and we are left with this. I've just realised how odd it is, actually, that it had a pan-frying um, suggestion on there, because if you're going to fry it, you wouldn't buy pre-cooked, would you? Anyway, what's it like then? Answer, probably lethal. I'm going to eat this bit, which we will call Porky Jeremy. Oh god. Oh. Oh, that's a bit naff. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like really in incredibly shitty bacon. Like, if you explained bacon to robots and they made some, that's probably what they'd come up with. Yeah, that's bullshit. Um, and not very nice at all, frankly. Unimpressed. It loses the battle of the pig flesh to the mighty pork rinds earlier. Anyway, we need some uh, nice bit of vegetable in order to uh, give ourselves one of our five a day that isn't oh, tasting like cardboard bacon. How about tasteful corn may on the cob? Yeah, it's just corn on the cob, sort of sealed in a package. Again, I didn't know you could do this in a microwave. Packed fresh, marvellous. Again, two dollars from Dollarama. Uh, which appears to be the shop to go to for such things. Uh, cooking instructions. Remove corn from the pouch and cook in microwave for one minute per cob. Marvellous. What I'm going to do is cook one of these for one minute. There we are. Technical. Here's an exciting story about uh, corn on the cob. My dad once came home with some really cheap corn on the cob that he'd bought from somewhere. We were like, hooray, corn on the cob. And we ate it and it was tasteless and disgusting and it was actually just maize, the stuff they sort of looks like corn on the cob, but they use for animal feed. So ten points to whichever shop he bought that from. Um, also, whenever I use these plates, People say, oh, we've got plates like that, where do they come from? I found out they were apparently given away free with mobile petrol about uh, 30 years ago. There we are. You've learned something today. Microwave time! Jump cut! Well, that's the most compacted corn on the cob you'll ever see in your entire life. But at least I get to use these weird prong things I bought years ago. Wait for it. Look at that. What a world we live in. Um, yeah, it looks very sort of squashed. I was going to put some butter on it, but uh, I thought, no, I shall experience the flavour fully. Also, I don't trust the butter. It's been in the fridge for quite some time. And I went off on holiday, and yeah, it's still there when I came back. Well, I'm glad. Wouldn't it be weird if a burglar broke into your house and did nothing but steal butter? The Butter Bandits! There we are. Another sequel to Home Alone. Well, it looks a bit manky on the end there, doesn't it? Right. I'm, I'm slightly worried about this one. Oh well, let me sink my teeth into it and then get really frickin' worried. Ah. That's not good corn on the cob. It's not awful. Um, you know, there, there is sort of a bit sweet, but it tastes... It really does taste like it's been in a plastic bag for a long time. I think I can guess why that is. Here's a hint. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, not sold on that entirely. Also, it could have done a little bit longer. It's gone a little bit cool now, but, um, yeah. Well, you can do corn the cob in the microwave, and I believe it would probably work all right, but you probably don't want the $2 pre-packaged stuff. Don't really think I'm teaching anybody anything with that. You were probably aware of that beforehand. Go on, let's have a last one then. <gasps> JD's Bacon Pop. No, J and D's Bacon Pop. From the makers of Bacon A's and Bacon Salt. You know, those freaks. There's... God, what a bizarre bloody, um, mascot that is. Hi, I'm the flesh of a dead pig. I'm an abomination. Let me die. Three bags. Um, bacon flavour, microwave popcorn. Yeah, bacon flavour popcorn. It's just going to be awful. Oh, there's a little thing on here from Austin. Hello, Austin. Hey, Ashens. Saw this and thought you'd hate it. So here it is. Thanks, mate. All the way from my local Walmart and hopefully to your brown couch. Cheers, man. Oh, no, now I've ruined everything. Hear the pop, taste the sizzle. Oh, God. That makes me feel slightly nauseous. And I don't know why. Well, it's probably the pop, um, calling the cob, actually. Right, um, so, yeah. Bacon Pop is the continuing story of two bacon fanatics on a never-ending quest to make everything taste like bacon. That sounds like the worst Batman villain ever. It started with bacon salt and $5,000 Dave won on America's Funniest Home Videos when his kid hit him in the face. I see, did that leave any uh, long-lasting damage? You know, that sort of thing that makes you want to 
make everything taste like bacon. Yeah, well, um, popcorn is one of those things that does work very, very well in the microwave, as well we know. I um, don't know when, I don't know what the date is on this actually. I didn't check the corn either, which is a slight worry. Best Buy, uh, about, it's about a year out of date. Tremendous. Well, that, that's good. I'm glad I've left it around that long. I'm sure it'll be all right. Oh yeah, Best Buy 21st. No, it's within date. Da -da 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 -da. Amazing. Well, I know exactly how to do this in a microwave, so I suppose we'd better just jump cut straight to it. Well, this is a good popcorn for anybody who doesn't like the smell of popcorn, because the popcorny smell is entirely overridden by the weird stench of some kind of... I don't know how to describe it... burning pig candle? It's really quite unpleasant. Anyway! What's it actually like then? Oh, it's quite greasy. Well, you'd expect it to be, really, wouldn't you? Looks just like normal popcorn. Smells, yep, of that sort of uh, melting pig stuff. Uh, tastes... Not with a whole lot, actually. It tastes, yeah, at first like popcorn, and then it just kind of tastes of lard or fat or something. Yeah. Not even particularly, so I was expecting it to be quite salty, and it isn't really. I would describe that as slightly bland and slightly unpleasant, which also perfectly describes every number one act that came out of one of Simon Cowell's television programmes. Anyway, we've learnt something important today. Buy your own ingredients, make your own food, for God's sake.